You can't make it in the pros without connecting with your teammates. And you can't make it as a dad without connecting to your kids. For Clay, it was Winnie the Pooh, because he always thought that he was a Tigger. Michael liked the Hardy Boys uh, detective series. And Trace was into, I would say, Green Eggs and Ham. Always music, always singing, especially from uh, their grandmother. She was a concert pianist, so she was always singing songs to the boys. So they loved that kind of music. Oh yeah, I mean, it was mostly the Winnie the Pooh songs. <laughs> I have a lot of recordings of the boys jumping around to Winnie the Pooh and singing the songs. And also, of course, to the Ninja Turtles. They loved those Ninja Turtles. They'd watch them and sing all the songs. No matter how old your kids get, you'll always think about them as your babies, as your little boys, your little girls. And to this day, my wife and I pull out the old videos and look at them when they were just little babies and little toddlers. And uh, it's very sentimental to see and it's something that you'll never forget and never get over. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Uh, obviously, all of our children, they start a career, they get into their careers, but you're most proud of the, the people that they turn out to be when they're respectful, respectable of others, hardworking, and uh, just want to do things the right way. More than 80% of a child's brain growth is completed by age three. That's why I talked, read, and sang to my kids as much as possible. It's what made Michael Clay and Trace what they are today, and that makes me proud. Talk, read, sing, it changes everything. Learn more at first5california.com.